Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the environmental type in which an agent act. Okay, so last session we have discussed about what is an agent and how uh, it actually performs an action. So this environment plays a major role in deciding on the actions to be performed by an agent. Okay, so these are all the types of environment that we want to know. So one is when you know about the environment completely. Okay, so either it is fully observable or partially observable. A fully observable one, we call it as an accessible environment, like everything in the environment is known for us. Okay, so it is called like you can have this um, crossword problem and all. Okay, when you have this crossword puzzle, like we know exactly what all is needed. Okay, so when you are able to sense the environment, like the environment in which a sensor works is properly known. Okay, from no, like it is fully known, completely known, we call it as in fully observable environment. So the example is crossword puzzle and uh, we call it as partially observable as inaccessible environment. Like one example I can give you is this uh, car driving, self-driving cars. Okay, so self-driving cars, what happened? The environment actually changes. It is not going to be always known, right? Like based on the scenario, it keeps on changing. So we cannot call that as in fully known environment. Okay. So when you are able to observe the environment completely and when you own, when you are able to process it, we call it as fully observable or else we call it as partially one. And next one is deterministic and stochastic. So deterministic is one like when we are able to do the next step correctly, like when you know that exactly this is what it is going to happen in the next step, then we call it as a deterministic one. Okay, so whereas stochastic is, it varies accordingly. Okay, so like when you take the same car driving game, the next step is, is not predictable. Sometimes you have a traffic signal, the car has to stop and sometimes you will have someone to, uh, someone is taking overlap on you. So you have to make sure that this automatic self-driving car adjusts to all those things. Okay, so deterministic is when the next step is predictable automatically, like we can know that like if this happens, this is the outcome of it. When you are able to derive that, then that is called deterministic. And stochastic is something like uh, the environment, like we cannot properly predict on what happens next. Okay, and the next type of environment, we call it as discrete and continuous. A uh, discrete environment is one like where you have this finite number of states. Okay, only we have limited number of states. When we make a move, we will try to adjust to any one state. For example, you have this chess exam, uh, chess playing game. Okay, so in chess, we know that only these number of coins are there. And only this is my environment. I have to make a move in such a case, like I have these possible moves in each and every step. Okay, so that is discrete. I have a finite number of discrete states to move on. And when it comes to continuous, it happens like you have your football cricket game and all right like it varies okay so uh, like it is not always going to be the same discrete states here it varies according to the move each and every time okay so that is the difference between the discrete environment and the continuous environment and the next type is episodic and sequential so episodic is like when you take your day-to-day -day life and, and it is an episodic one so what we did in the previous day, it affects our current scenario, what we are doing it and it goes on. So episodic it is like you can go ahead with your uh, learning algorithms. What we do in machine learning, deep learning and all, it, we take the history of what happened and we try to predict something new over there. Okay, so that is called an episodic. And uh, what a sequential is, what currently happened affects the next step. Okay, and it is going to end somewhere. This is called a sequential one. Like you have your uh, football game. So the present de de decision will impact the next decision and it goes on. Okay, and it is not going to happen prolonged thing. Okay, so episodics is something like it is based on the history of what happened previously and we are going. that is going to have an effect over here and all. Okay, so what is fully observable? When you are able to observe, when the environmental acts, environment is able to access for you as it is, then that is fully observable. Whereas we cannot do it, if we call it as partially observed one. Deterministic is when you are able to predict what will be the possible next move, we call it as deterministic and stochastic is sometimes it change, it keeps on changing. And uh, discrete is something where 
we have only finite number of moves and we make a move within that and continuous is it takes okay each and every step the environment varies and we based on that we keep on going with the next next possibilities and episodic is when you have an history of possibility affect the scenario we call it as episodic and sequential is just the present action uh, affects the next one and it keeps on moving that's it okay i hope this is clear till now and the next two types are static and dynamic a uh, static one is like the environment is not going to change okay the environment going to be as it is even after performing the action okay so uh, like you have this crossword you can take it again okay so crossword is a place like the environment is going to be static all the time okay and it is not going to make a move and when you take this chess game and all one step when you make a move you have some actions to be performed okay so we can call it as an uh what is a semi static environmental condition okay it is an semi or uh, static or semi dynamic structure where based on the current action some uh, modification is done in that but still we have a limited access for it and when it comes to this self driving car and all we cannot call it as an static environment okay the environment keeps on changing and your machine or the model or the agent that you are going to develop has to accept it and keep on moving okay so this is the difference between static and dynamic and the last one is very easy right you know what is single agent and multi agent single agent at the place where when you when you have only one agent in, involved like you have your cross world puzzle okay only one person is going to solve it it is single agent and chess we have two persons playing to a uh, double agent multi agent is like you have your football cricket games where you have a multiple agents playing together and nowadays we have this uh, online games where multiple persons from the multiple places they play the same games okay so this is your environmental types okay so based on the environmental types like environment plays an important factor when you are designing an agent so you have to look into the environment and based on that you have to develop an action for all possible criteria that is really difficult in doing it okay so this is an example for different types of environment and and the examples like we have a chess with a clock chess without a clock car driving and image analysis image analysis is an example that uh, you want to take it for uh, proving that it is an dynamic one okay so you have this fully observed chess is fully known okay and car driving it is not fully known okay and similarly you can just go through it this is all the example for different types of environment for four different examples okay thank you